Hi, I'm Kelly Francis Corrado, and I am a singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. And today, we're going to learn how to tune the guitar. You're going to need a guitar, acoustic or electric, a guitar pick, and a phone. And we're going to use the tuner Guitar Tuna. It's a free app. All right, let's get started. So let's learn a little bit about what everything is on the guitar and how to use it. So first off, we have the body. Right here on the guitar is called the bridge and it holds the strings in place. If we follow the strings on the neck, right here, this is called the nut. This also holds the strings in place. This is the neck. And then these little metal things up here are called the pegs. Let's learn the strings. So the first string is the E string. The second string is the A string. The third one is the D. The fourth one is the G. The fifth one is the B. And this thin one at the very end is also an E. I use this phrase and it helps me. It goes, every artist does get better every time. Okay, let's get started. So, as you can see, the top string here, the E string, or the every time string, is a little bit thicker. Also has a low sound. So let's follow that string all the way up the neck and find the peg that goes with it. For me, it's this one right here. Now, the pegs work like a spool of thread. When you tighten it, it gets higher. When I take it away from me, or push it away from me, it goes lower. Now, this is the E string, or the every string, so we're gonna try and find the E to line up here on the tuner. So let's just pluck it and see where it's at. Ah, now when it's over on this side, it means the string is too low. If the line goes over this way, it's too high. What we're trying to do is get the line just in the middle. So I'm gonna turn this peg towards me to tighten the string and make it higher. Keep going and go slow. It's no fun to snap a string. This app is really nice too because it'll tell you, oh, it'll tell you right there, am I too low, too high? Ah, so when it does that, the, the green bar goes across, then we know we're in, we're in tune. All right, yay, E string. Okay, now we're gonna do the next string, the second string, which is the A string. And we're gonna follow that up here to the second peg. So let's just see where it's at. Ah, it tells it's a little, oh, a little low. So we're gonna pull this towards us. Almost there, keep going. Remember, go slow. Yay, A string. Let's double check it. Yep, okay. Third string, the D string, or the does string. Let's follow that up. That's gonna go, for me, that's gonna go to my third peg up here. Let's, let's pluck it and see where it's at. Ah, so it's a little bit this way, which means it's a little high. So we're gonna take this tuning peg and we're gonna turn it that way. Just a little bit. Yay, D string. Let me double check. Oh, almost. Good, okay, so now we're going to the fourth string, this one, the get string, or the G string. Now on my guitar, as you can see, these strings are wound this way. On this side, the strings are wound in reverse, or the opposite. So we're actually gonna tune the pegs the opposite way than we have been. But let me show you. So let's pluck that G string. Too low, so let's follow this up, find 
the correlating peg, which is right here. So it says it's too low, so I'm gonna go higher. Ah, so when I turn it towards me, as you can hear, it goes lower and it tells me to. So I wanna turn it away from me. Almost. Got it. Okay, now, these next strings, the B and the E, are thinner, and not only are they thinner, they're one strings. If you look at these other strings, they're like one with another one woven around it. So these ones can take a little bit more pulling, but these you have to be very careful with. So we have the B string, and it's telling me it's too low. So I'm gonna, ah, not towards me, but away from me. So I'm just gonna go slow with that. Ah, B string. Yay, B string. As you can see on this app too, it's super helpful. It'll tell you what string that you're playing and how it's gonna go in tune. So let's double check that B string. Good, now our last string, which is the high E string, which is the every time E string. Let's follow that and see where that goes. Ah, that goes to this peg. So. Let's just pluck it and see where we're at. Ooh, this one's only slightly low. Cool. That means we're gonna take this peg and we're gonna turn it that way. Slow. Let's try that high E string again. Boom. Got that one too. Okay, let's double check the strings. First of all, I'm gonna strum it and see how it sounds. Sounds good, let's go through it. E, every string. A, artist string. D, does string. G, get string. B, better string, oh, let's double check that B. Good, and then the high E string. Now, all your strings are in tune, so let's just strum it. Thank you so much. Um, now we know how to tune our guitars. My name is Kelly Francis Corrado. I also teach out of Youngstown Cultural Arts Center, so check them out too. Thanks so much.